So Roman Reigns and Logan Paul is going to headline the next Saudi show. They had a press conference on Saturday, which they essentially told you on SmackDown they were going to announce a match on Saturday. And I have not seen the press conference. I did just finish watching the first uh, 90 minutes of SmackDown. And man, that opening segment was just like pulling teeth. This guy's out here. He so badly wants to be a babyface. The fans don't care about him at all. They were booing him pretty good. Yeah, they're booing him because they don't like him. But, yeah. I mean, it wasn't booing him like, oh, man, here's a great heel we love. It was like, ah, fuck, here's Logan Paul. And then Paul Heyman came out, and, and Paul's trying. Paul, I Heyman, mean, Paul Heyman got cheered. But uh, part, some, of that, some of that was because they didn't know he was coming, and it was a surprise. But also, it was because... You know, he was against Logan Paul. And, I mean, the Usos, you know, and those guys were all going to be cheered against Logan Paul. Roman Reigns will be cheered like crazy against Logan Paul if it would be in the United States. I mean, in Saudi, you know, who knows what's going to happen. Um, you know, and it doesn't matter anyway. It doesn't matter who gets cheered or booed in, in Saudi anyway. So, you know, the whole thing. It's an interesting thing because it's a completely different uh, situation as far as matchmaking and reasons and everything when you're talking about a Saudi show. it's all about It's all about just something that will get publicity for an event in Saudi Arabia. It's not even, it's not, it's not about selling tickets because they don't, you know, I mean, it's not about selling tickets. It doesn't matter at all um, in Saudi Arabia. I mean, one of those shows did like 3,500 paid, you know, I mean, it's, but it doesn't matter. Um, and it's, it's not about the pay-per-view or anything like that because you're getting paid $45 million or $50 million, I should say, $50 million for the show. So they don't need, they don't need one pay-per-view buy. And, and even if, and, and, and again, that doesn't, and that doesn't even matter anyway because they're getting paid by Peacock. So it's really just for, um, I mean, it, it does, the one thing this does is it does explain why Roman Reigns did have to be Drew McIntyre because they had this match going on. And that's why, you know, um, that's you why you can't do to... Roman Reigns versus Logan Paul without the title on the line. Um, it's, it's, Especially wanted... if you just did a whole rant about how it doesn't even matter. It doesn't matter. Who cares? It probably matters to the Saudis that it's, that it's a world championship match and they're the ones paying $50 million. So, I mean, you know, if, like they don't want a match. They don't want a non-title match in the main event of their show. So and they do want celebrities. I mean, that's what they want. That's why. That's why they had Cain Velasquez. That's why they had Tyson Fury. I mean, that's what the show's about. That's why you get, you know. Um, so essentially, every fall, the Saudi prince is essentially booking. No, he's not a booking championship. He's not. He's not booking, but they're booking. Well, he for essentially, him. is. I mean, no, he, they he are wants booking. certain things, and so we got to make well, sure they, that Roman retains the title at the castle, so that the Saudi prince can get his match. No, it's about booking for it's. It's like it's essentially booking for him. That's yes, true. that's what I said. Yeah, yeah, but it's not him booking. It's, well, no, he's not physically in the office, but I mean, it's it's, it's the it's, fall it's, is going to be around whatever the Saudi prince wants. We got to book around whatever he wants. We got to book around. Well, we got to book around the thing that will get the most publicity, and because that's what he wants. He wants the most publicity for the show. Now, the interesting thing, I mean, they did the press conference. And the reason they did the press conference in Vegas was because of the, um, you know, all the boxing writers were there and a lot of mainstream writers were there for the um, Canelo and uh, Golovkin fight on Saturday. So, you know, that was the whole idea. And then the WWE, you know, they all went to, you know, Stephanie and Paul and all them went to the um, went to the fight and everything. But I mean, the thing is, is I was I didn't look closely, but I did look this morning because I was just curious about I mean, I was curious about the. Um, you know the Google searches, and it didn't even make top twenty, which was surprising because what they're looking for is press. And the other one is, is I was looking for, you know, who covered this thing. And for the most part, all I saw was wrestling sites. I didn't see boxing sites. I mean, the whole thing was, um, I mean, they didn't like alert the wrestling reporters. They wanted the boxing reporters there, and they wanted the mainstream sports reporters there because they're looking for mainstream. And it didn't really happen. So um, that's another aspect of it. Um, well, I mean, who cares about Logan Paul versus Roman Reigns in Saudi? Um, a, why is a boxing writer going to care all that much about it? Well, that's the whole thing. I think that's where they may have misread it because Logan Paul, because Jake Paul has and, and Logan have drawn some pay-per-view numbers in boxing. 
um, that therefore the boxing writers, you know what I mean, at the big match with Floyd and everything, which which did do a million buys, um, that um, you know that the boxing people would would care about him doing pro wrestling, but that's the thing they really didn't care about him doing pro wrestling. If he was doing boxing, yeah, sure. So it was kind of, um, but I mean, I was there in Vegas when they did the um, the press conference with Tyson Fury and with um, Kane. And, you know, it was the boxing writers were all there. And that wasn't I don't think that that was on. um, That was just a regular, you know, but the the boxing writers did come to that thing, um, partially in MMA people, because Kane was more relevant in MMA at the time. And Tyson Fury was the world heavyweight champion in boxing, whereas Logan Paul is someone who boxes, but is not considered a boxer. So it was it is interesting. Um, And. um, you know, but that's, you know, that's the whole gist of the thing is that they're trying. It's a celebrity. It's a celebrity thing. And Logan Paul's a big celebrity in Saudi Arabia, too. So that's part of the deal, too. So, you know, um, it's it's a match that will get, in theory, more attention than anything else that they've got. But, you know, the celebrity things usually work. They don't always work. It's also. But again, and I pointed this out when he started and the same thing, you know, it's like. With with celebrities, generally speaking, the first time they do it is the big one. And the second time, it means a little bit less. And by the third time, it doesn't mean a whole lot. I mean, it was when WCW was bringing in, let's say, um, um, Kevin Green. I mean, the first time Kevin Green came in, and, and, and um, Rodman was another one. The first time they came in, giant stuff, especially Rodman. I mean, and Rodman pulled two giant buy rates. Now, the third one, you know, by that point... Um, you know, you know, when he, you know, people after the after the second one, people really didn't care about Rodman anymore doing wrestling. Um, and in fact, he did another pay-per-view that, that completely bombed. It was outside of WCW. And then um, Kevin Green, you know, who actually was very good at pro wrestling. You know, there was a lot of media interest the first time and, and some afterwards, but it diminishes with each time. It's like Mr. T was another one. Like the first time Mr. T met WrestleMania one, it was gigantic. At the second WrestleMania, when he was with Piper, you know, it was much, you know, it was, I wouldn't say it was dead by any means. I mean, the match was horrible, but it didn't mean anywhere close to as much. And then, you know, times bringing him back or when WCW brought him back and everything like that didn't really mean much. So, you know, you're, you're, you know, it's the same. It's, it's, it's just like with Jake Paul and everything in the boxing. It's like there's, there's a lot of diminishing returns when it comes to uh the the uh so you know the outside celebrity coming in so um but this was the decision that they made is this was the direction you know when when uh um when i was told you know at uh you know i was we were watching the uh the thing and i thought oh they're doing they're gonna do roman against tyson fury and i'm sure at some point they you know they want to do that i mean that they did that face off for that reason but the time is not now because Tyson Fury uh, is going to finish his boxing career before he does something like that, it looks like. Or, you know, he's got a fight on the horizon. He didn't want to, you know, risk that fight by getting hurt in a wrestling match. And um, so it was, you know, so it was Logan Paul. That's the direction that they're going. Uh, whether it works or not, I mean, whether the match is good or not is kind of irrelevant because it's a Saudi show. And... uh the whole key, like I said, the whole key is this is the um the amount of publicity it gets for Saudi Arabia, and it really so far, I mean, we'll have to see when the week of the show comes, but so far, it really didn't get as much as I think they were hoping for, at least from what I've seen. um you know, I've listened to some news and everything. I didn't hear anybody talking about it whatsoever, so um but that was you know that's obviously the goal is to extend you know the the you know to talk to get talk of WWE in places that usually don't talk WWE. Hey, if you're a big fan of Wrestling Observer Radio, we got 12,000 episodes of all of our podcasts up at our website, WrestlingObserver.com. If you sign up today, you get access to every single one of them. The 12 to 18 new shows that we do every single week, you can podcast them, listen to them on the road, at work, Working out, in the shower, wherever you listen to your podcasts. And also full access to the Wrestling Observer newsletter and archives. So if you love what you hear, head to WrestlingObserver.com. 12,000 
audio shows at your fingertips.